Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold this past week on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Hello everybody, my name is Heather. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, volleyball player, and I love Disney. So. This is a video about what I sold this past week. I typically do these every Friday. If you like reseller content, like what sold videos, thrift hauls, thread up mystery and unboxings, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below with the little bell next to it. That way you can get notifications every time I put out a new video. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content, if you've already subscribed and you like to watch this and you find this interesting, please hit the like button. So I'm filming in my bedroom. I have a three kids over besides my own kids so they're everywhere in the house and this is just the easiest place to film this video this morning before we get our day started um i'm going to go through what i sold on the three sites i'll tell you how much i sold them for if i remember how much i paid for them maybe i'll tell that i know people have asked me that but i don't keep track of every individual thing i know some people do you don't have to for tax purposes so i do as little as i have to <laughs> legally i just keep track of my whole receipt this is how much i spent at goodwill put it in my expenses this is how much I made. So, um, yeah, but most of the time my Goodwill is charged $3.59 or $5.49 for a lot of items. I go to some thrift worlds as well, and sometimes they can be a little more expensive, but pretty cheap prices around here and cost of goods for me. So let's start with eBay. The first thing I sold on eBay was this Catherine's plaid checkered 4X top, and that sold for $18. I sold this new with tag stitch fix marketed in spruce cardigan. This sold for me super quickly and it sold for $23. Next was a new without tags, pink Victoria's secret navy blue pullover sweatshirt. This sold for me for $22. I sold this Armani Colezioni green wool blend blazer in a size 14. I picked this up a few weeks ago at a thrift world and it sold for $50. Next was a Barefoot Dreams gray short sleeve striped sweater. It had a tie front and it sold for $25. I sold these Athleta swim shorts very quickly, which is surprising. At first I kind of thought they were regular shorts, but I got home and looked up the style number and realized they were swim shorts, but they were getting tons of interest and they sold for $20.88, my full asking price within a day. Next was the brand Geiger. I think that's how you pronounce it. It was a made in Austria beige leaf print new pure wool jacket. This sold for my full asking price of $60.88. The funny thing is I was telling somebody else on Instagram, I actually had this down in the 20s on my Poshmark because I'm really good about Poshmark getting on there and lowering prices, but I'm not at all with my other platforms. So it was sitting at full asking price forever and someone bought it at that. So that was nice. Next was the brand Toad & Co. This dress sold super quick. It was the Aquaflex sleeveless hiking outdoor trail dress and it says medium that sold for $25. Next was a pair of new American Eagle wide leg railroad stripe high rise pants. These were in a size six and they sold for my full asking price of $35.88. I sold these cabbie um, M leggings. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's the skirt layered over the leggings. This style always does good for me no matter what the color. These were black and these sold for $30. I also sold these Athleta medium black ruched joggers. I couldn't find the style number on these. Um, I think it was cut out. So I just used my own keywords and it sold for $18. Next was a J. Jill beige 100% linen long sleeve casual dress in a size extra small. That sold for $17. I sold this Eddie Bauer women's black 700 fill down puffer vest and that sold for $25. Next was a J. Crew green beaded velvet dress, I mean belt. This came to me in a thread up fun box. I honestly wasn't expecting that much. Someone offered me seven, so I just took it because it was kind of a weird item. Uh, next was a soft surroundings gray bailey top. It had a lace detail on the sleeve and that sold for $20. I sold this Gerard Darrell Paris navy blue goat suede jacket in a size 40 and that sold for 47. I was kind of going back and forth with offers. This day I started an eBay sale on my closet. I think I have it running through Sunday with 25% off things in my closet. So it is getting some more action or in my store I meant. It's getting some more action in my store but then I find people still want even a more of a discount. But sometimes if I've had things for a really long time, I just take it anyway like that. Uh, next was the Tory Burch Blue Double Zip Robinson tote bag. 
I got this for $35 at a consignment store and I sold it for $100. And then I sold this vintage Walt Disney World red zip up hoodie in a size extra large. This I sold for $38.16. I think that was a straight buyout for my 25% off because that's kind of a weird amount. Okay, and one more thing on eBay I haven't shipped out yet. It was a Kate Spade green soft leather Southport Carmen spring crossbody purse. This came to me in a thread up name brand handbag box and that sold for $49.41. So that was also on my 25% off sale. Okay, next we're gonna go into Macari. It was a little bit better for me this week. I'm feeling thirsty and I don't have a drink over here, but my husband does. Let me grab this water. Mm. Uh. I'm trying to get this all done. We're gonna make one last trip to the pumpkin patch. Um, if you don't live around here, we have like a humongous pumpkin patch in Omaha, Nebraska. That's basically, actually I think it's in Gretna. It's like an amusement park. You can be there all day. So we're going there one last time today with all of my nieces and nephews, or I should say niece. Okay, the first thing I sold on Mercari was a cabbie printed collared sleeveless top that sold for my full asking price of $25. And then I sold this Land's End Pink 100% Cashmere set. I just listed this yesterday and it sold within a day. It was a tank top and a cardigan set and it was in a size 1X and it sold for $41. Next were these Salvatore Ferragamo Patent Leather Ballet Flats. I think I found these at a thrift store or these might have came to me in a box. Shoe, thread up shoe box? I can't remember now. Anyway, they sold for $45 super quick. I also sold these Betula Birkenstock Brown Suede Clogs. These sold super quick for $35, my full asking price. They were pretty worn, but the style still sold them. Next was the brand Seven for All Mankind, but it was the Dojo Jeans. These sold super quick for $81, so definitely be on the lookout for those. I sold these Anthropology Samson Lyocell Camo Jogger Pants, and these sold for $26. Next was a Victoria's Secret black floral zip front sports bra. This sold for $25. And then I sold this Anthropology HD in Paris Louisa shirt dress. This actually would had a little thing that went around the collar, like a ribbon. It wasn't there, but I still sold it for $30. And then I sold these Everlane black cut and side zip pants. These I had for just a couple of weeks and they sold for $28. I also sold another pair of those cabby M leggings. These were some gray ones with the skirt layered over it and those sold for $30. And then I sold these H Halston leather basket weave flats and these sold for 20. I'm going back and trying to figure out and looking at the date if I already said those last week because it's right at the cutoff and when I made my video last week. So if I ever see anything double, if you really pay attention that much, sorry, but I'm not going to go back and watch my whole video. <laughs> okay, Poshmark. Let's go into Poshmark. My best platform, as always. Almost every once in a while, eBay beats it out, but not lately. Um, the first thing I sold were these American Eagle Highest Rise Mom Jeans. These were distressed. They were size 10 long, and they sold for $22. Next was the brand St. James. This was a pure new wool cardigan sweater, and this sold for $45. I sold these Vionic Posey Laser Cutout Suede Flats. These actually sold a while ago, if you remember, in a bundle with that gray glitter Kate Spade purse. Then the buyer made a false claim about it being in horrible condition. Somehow the case got approved, so they had to send back both of them. I sold the Kate Spade purse right away again, and these sold, they sold for $20 um, within a couple of weeks. Next is a pair of Levi's Medium Wash 710 Super Skinny Jeans in a size 29, and they sold for $25. I sold this Dooney and Burke black and leather tote bag East West Shopper. This came to me in a thread up name brand handbag box and that sold very quickly for $75. Next was a bundle of two items. One was a J. Crew purple jeweled statement necklace. This came to me in a thread up fun box. And then a Cabbie It's a Party black bell sleeve top. Those sold together for those sold together for $39. Next was the group. Babaton Aritzia Merino Wool Yak Blend Turtleneck Sweater. This was in a size medium and it sold pretty quickly for $40. I sold these Fabletics Black White Color Block Mid-Rise Leggings. These sold for $17. Next was an Anthropology Florite Cream Boho Peasant Top. This was in a size 2 and it sold for $35. I sold these Victoria Sports Black Cheetah Floral Print Leggings. These sold for $17. 
Next was a bundle of two Lulu's shoes, which I have found do not do good. These were pointed toe Joelle flats. I've had these for a really long time and someone offered me $20 for both pairs. So I took it. I'm tired of storing them. Another Lulu's, but this does better than maxi dresses. This was a Teal of Heart Marigold Wrap maxi dress and it sold for $30 pretty quick. Next was a brand Mod Cloth Posh at the Party Purple Black Dress in a size 3X. This sold for $40. I sold this Cabby Gigi Animal Print Poncho Sweater. I've had this for a really long time. For some reason, I thought it was super cute and it sold for $12. Next was the Salvatore Ferragamo. These were a pair of men's loafers I picked up at a thrift store. They did have a black kind of spot in the leather that I couldn't get out and a little bit of scuffing, but they still sold for $55 super quick. I also sold this lot of three new pair of socks. These came to me in a thread up fun box. So I just kind of lotted them together and they sold for $12. This was also from a thread up fun box. It was a Prima Valentino waist trimmer and that sold for 12. Next was a pair of Levi's 311 shaping skinny jeans. These were in a plus size 22 and they sold for $24. I sold this Victoria's Secret Dream Angels multi-way lace bra 36 double D that sold for 18. Next was a vintage 1993 Kansas City Chiefs NFL pullover sweatshirt. This sold for 20. I sold these North Face Gray Aphrodite 2.0 hiking trail pants in a size small. I sold these very quickly for $20. Next was a bu bundle of three items. This coat I've had for definitely over a year. It was a new with tags Banana Republic coat. It was super cute, but I don't know. It just was not moving. Anyway, that, this belt, I think it was called Love Benetti. This came to me in a thread up fun box. And then this J. Crew black exposed rose floral sweater. And these sold all together for $85. Next was a pair of silver jeans. They were the bleaker skinny jeans in a size 18. My silver plus size is going quick. So I don't know. I haven't really picked up any size less than 16. I don't think, I don't know how they would do, but this is one thing some of my thrift stores will mark up. So I just don't get it as much. But anyway, they sold super quick for $28. I sold this splendid leopard print oversized top. This was um, in a size small and it sold for 15. Next was a soft surroundings blue cardigan sweater. This was in a size 2X and it sold for $34. I sold this Brighton Love Padlock necklace. This came to me in a thread up fun box and that sold for $35. Next were these Valentino shoes. If you watched recently, you know I had got these in a thread up designer box. They were pretty worn out. I did able, I was able to clean up the toes a little bit because they were like super, super scuffed. Um, and so I cleaned them up decent. They were also a size five, super tiny. And someone offered me a hundred dollars. I think they had enlisted at 175, but I was like, oh, like literally within a day, a hundred dollars. They were size five. They were pretty worn. So I took it. I like to make money. I don't like to sit on things and hold things. So I don't know if I undersold those, but I'm glad to make that quick profit. Next was a pair of Sperry wool duck boots in a size eight and a half. These sold for $48. So I hardly ever pick up the cash, uh, the normal Sperry boat shoes, but I definitely will pick up these boots. Next is the brand Catherine's. This was a medium wash high rise jeggings. I've never got their jeans. I don't think, um, their tops typically do really well for me, but these jeans sat for a really long time and they sold for 14. I sold this pair of Vionic Navy blue steak skin leather ballet flats. These sold for $25. I sold these Converse Low Top Sunset Orange Yellow Sneakers. Those sold for $25. Next was an Urban Outfitters Green Pullover Sweater. I know, just bought this recently knowing it wouldn't sell for much, but hoping it would sell quick. And it did, and it sold for $15. And these Allegria Clogs also sold super quick for me. They were red patent leather, and they sold for $25. Another Urban Outfitters item, again, same deal. I didn't think it would sell quick. Um, for very much, but hoped it would sell fast. And it did out from under green hooded cardigan sold for 15. And the last thing I sold on Poshmark was this Lululemon black Lynn to you side slit sweater. And that sold for 19. So that's all of my sales guys. Let me know below. What was your best flip this week? What did you make the most money on? I kind of am not remembering what mine was. Um, I'd have to go back and look, but possibly those Valentino shoes. Cause I got them in a designer box and I pay 120 for seven items. So pretty good profit made there. Anyway, I do have a thread up mystery unboxing coming for you on this Sunday. I think it's the shoe box. So I got another shoe box. So 
make sure you check that out. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys soon. Have a great weekend. I hope you make lots of sales. Bye.